It's so simple. Yes. What's our qualification though to get the mercy? To be fallen. If you think about it, Jagai and Mara, they were they were so fallen and yet they, they got the mercy from Lord Chaitanya, from Lord Nityananda rather. So it's actually quite nice in this age that we don't have to be learned. We don't have to be expert in a dunga player, like, you know, if you heard me play a Murdoch, you'd probably run for cover, right? I mean, or if you, you heard my harmonium skills there. I'm, I'm no Liberace over here, you know? I'm just like trying. But the qualification for us to receive the mercy is just to realize, just to be fallen, right? You think about all the devotees, I know myself, the things that I've gone through in my life, I, I've really not been qualified to receive the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. I've not been qualified to even come and, and, and sit in a temple, right? The things I do would make some of your hair stand on end, you know? But it's like that, right? So this mercy is available for everyone. It's just we have to grab it and we have to want to uh, want it. And it's possible. It's possible. I guess, what am I supposed to talk about anyway? Iraq, right? Oh yeah, Iraq. I actually, personally, I don't like speaking about it because I have post-traumatic stress and, and it's very hard for me to speak about because I've seen many people die in my arms. I've seen many uh, little children blown to pieces. I've seen many uh, horrific, very horrific um, um, situations. And yeah, it's the stripped down material world. <laughs> I mean, all the nice homes and all these things, but I, I just happen to be fortunate enough to see the material world for what it really was. It was it's a place, a place of just horrible things. Things that were just, that no human being should have to see. But there's positive in, this, in these things. Like, I remember one, uh, uh, one boy in particular. You know, some people don't want Krishna no matter how much you try. And this boy, every day I would go out in the, in, in the, in the 135 degree heat and distribute books in Missouri. And I would try and get this boy to be a devotee. I would try and give him a book and he would go, no, 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 and run away from me. And I would chase him down the street. No, take a book, take a book. And he would throw garbage cans in front of me, right? Like people and garbage cans, he would jump over fences and I would jump after him and I would try all my heart to give him a book, right? And he would go, no! And this went on for months, you know, me chasing him down the street. It became like an everyday thing. Like it was just like for fun at one point, just to see if I could ever catch him, because he was very fast. <laughs> I mean, definitely like track star material, you know? And, and then one day I remember we went out on patrol and uh, the vehicle in front of us, we were doo -doo -doo -doo, driving down the street, and it just blew up like a huge explosion. Huge explosion. Huge. And then we ran up, and I hope not so many people ate prasadam. I just ate, so you know, it doesn't bother me much to describe these things, but some people might have weak stomachs. But, uh, you know, we pulled the bodies out, and there was an arm here, and piece of stomach hanging out and, and he said, am I going to live? Am I going to live? I said, no, you're going to die. It's like, I'm, I'm no Florence Nightingale, you know, I just tell it how it is. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. You know, what do you expect? You know, it's like, you just tell it to, straight to the point, you know, just, you're going to die. There's no point. Just shut up already. You're just, you're going to die. Look, you, you know, part of your body's here, part's there, another part's there. There's a third of it over there. You know, it doesn't look good for the, for the, for the home team. Doesn't look like you're gonna pull through this one, you know? So, oh, but I'm too young to die and I love my wife. And I, I said, well, you know. Anyway, she'll find a new boyfriend in six months anyway. Don't worry about it. You know, everything, you know, this is, this is a reality, you know? Like, you only be loved for a little bit and, and, and then most, not all, but majority of people will move on after a certain grieving period. You know, it's just the fact of life, you know? Very few people actually, you know, carry that loss for the rest of their lives, you know? Very few. I've seen a few, but very, very few. And I said, you know, just, just be quiet and just listen. And so, you know, we had we took Tulsi leaves and put Tulsi leaves in his mouth and Gunga water in his head, and 
they had this big bag of Vrindavan dust and they just opened his mouth and shoved it all inside and closed it up really nicely. Probably helped them a little bit. And, you know, and, and took a picture of Krishna and put it in, in front of him. And so many things from so many holy places. If you couldn't go back to Godhead with this, there was no hope for you whatsoever. Right? Because this was like, this was the spiritual first aid kit. You know? Spiritual. So much goodness and nectar in there. You know, Chanamrita from Panchatattva's lotus feet, throw it in his mouth, everything. Just so much stuff in there. His mouth was probably just shoving it more and more, trying to get him to get all this nectar inside because he was going. You could see in the eyes. The eyes were, he was eating. And I said, just listen. And, and what did we describe? What did I describe to him? I didn't describe to him Rasa Tattva or the topmost um, glories of the gopis as described in, in, in Gaur Govinda, uh, uh, Archana Smaranapati, written by Dayachandra Goswami. No, I, I, I described to him about, uh, about Prahlad Maharaj because when, when uh, Gadara Pandit used to recite Bhagavad Gita Lord Chaitanya, he would recite the teachings of Kapila and, and, and Prahlad Maharaj. And this is what Lord Chaitanya liked to hear from Bhagavatam. I recited to this, and he said it right before he left. He said, for so long, so long, I've been running away from Krishna. And now at the time of death, Krishna is next to me, and he left his body. This is how strong this process is. That it just takes a second to allow Krishna into your heart. And instantly you become, can become liberated. It takes a second of taking the holy name and allowing it into the heart. Because what's it say? Kali Kalera Nama Rupa Krishna Avatar Nama Hatta Haya Sabha Jagat That this, in this age, this incarnation,